How's you going, boss? Hello, everyone. How are you? I loud as never one of you tall and knows what a mummer is, what? I don't suppose any of you know what a mummer actually is. What? What? Listen, I tells you. I will explain. Well, my grandfather's grandfather, when he was a little boy, in the early 1900s, they dress up and they grab whatever they could around the house. They would. They grab their trousers and their knickers. They grab their dryers and their sweaters, and they'd come tearing down the street. They'd storm into the kitchen and they'd be jigging and swinging and ranting and roaring. And Lord, thunder and nuts they were. They'd make some mess. They come on in and all of a sudden they pass around the old Newfie Grog and oh boy, we get her going, eh? They planking her down. Anyways, before you knew it, the time was up. They'd be on their way again. The old Pat Murphy's up the lane. So basically, people would dress up in whatever old clothes they had lying around their house, dress up usually as the opposite sex with their face covered in disguise, go to their neighbor's house, go in for a song, a dance, and a kitchen party, and then once that was all over, they'd dress up again and go down the road and repeat this house to house. And well, boys, grandmother, she's up in Vancouver, you see, she's so sad that the mummers didn't get up this year. Some said the mummers didn't make it to Vancouver this year, boy. Mark, what's the noise out by the board store? Granny Tiss is there's plenty of noise. Her old weathered face brightens up with a grin. Any mummers, nice mummers, loud in. Come in, lovely mummers, don't bother the snow. We can wipe up the water. Every day I'm mummering.